Hello everyone! I don't know why I procrastinate doing these lives because they're so amazing to do and they're so rewarding but I just procrastinate doing them until the last second so I push the button just to get it over with and just to get it done with but hello everyone happy Friday I think it's Friday I believe it's Friday I have pizza party tonight I think it's Friday hello my darlings I'm so excited to see you we are talking about how to be successful today I know it's a weird question it's a weird topic and honestly there's no wrong answer so that's what makes it hard love you all um but at the end of this video, the last thing I'm gonna talk about is a major announcement that is happening. It's a new course that I'm launching online and I can't wait to tell you all what it is because I know you love it because all of you have been asking me about it. So you're gonna get it now. But let's talk about success first. Success, we all have a different definition of success, right? Whether it's income, number of clients, how busy you are, if you're able to get your dreams done, your checklist, we all have different ideas of what success is. Being 24 and already done everything that I had on my bucket list of life is really hard and I've had a lot of time to think about and a lot of coming to in this last year. This last six months has been one of the hardest six months of my life because I have not found what to do next with my life because I'm done. <laughs> I've done everything. So I was like, oh yay, I can die now. But no, of course, I'm not gonna do that. So I have found a new passion of helping others and here I am. So we're gonna talk about success once again. So finding what's successful. So what is successful to you? That is your question. That is your time to answer for yourself. You don't have to comment, you don't have to do tell me, you don't have to do anything, but this is the time where you have to reflect on yourself of what actually seriously drives your success and what your definition of success is. A few bullet points that I have written down is networking. Being friends with other people, even if you're in the same industry, even if you're competition, that is networking because if you can't do something then you know someone else who can help with it you we it just okay we all know the phrase that it takes a village to raise a child right well it takes a village to live because we all have each other we all have different traits we all have different goals we all have different everything so why not continue that into our adult lives when we actually need each other more than what we did when we were younger. Make sense? Yes, it does. Um, being organized, my heavens. Look at this planner here. Yeah, passion planner, it's great. Here's my day, well, here's my week. And then I have my notes at the bottom of what I'm talking about right now. I am so organized, but depending on what the topic is. My house, it's an organized mess. Yes, it is, but my business is freaking organized because that is what my life is about. I'm a workaholic and I love it, but I also love being organized because that is the only way I can get things done. And if you're not good at organizing, it's time to learn about it. Organizing is not just for your closet. After you watch one of the Netflix TV shows, excuse me, it is for your business and it's for your life. If you don't have a routine in check, if you don't have schedules, if you don't plan out everything, you are probably stunting your growth in business. Just saying. So start practicing, tell me how it goes. Um, another huge topic of success and being successful is your own personal self time. Take yourself out on a date. Have you ever been on a date with yourself? I did, a, like, I think I started doing this a couple months ago where I went to the bookstore and I just sat and read, had coffee. It was the best night of my life. I even came home early because I was so excited to read in the bathtub, like, have a date with yourself go out on a date go out on a coffee date go be by yourself and just be like hey girl I love you let's take care of us today and we're good and I know this is so weird to be talking from an uh, introvert I'm the most introverted introvert ever but I'm also the most extroverted introvert ever I guess you can say I'm an ambivert I guess that word does exist I'm an ambivert depending on where I'm at is how I choose to interact most of the time, I am just a listener. And sorry for the weed whackers in the background. There's a ballpark over there. 
Um, most of the time I'm the listener and I like to listen and help others. But a lot of the times I need to help now myself because I am the only person that I'm living with fully, 1000%. So I got to take care of myself. Makes sense, right? I would think so. And the last thing I want to talk about before the big announcement is passion is a consequence of effort, not the other way around. You do not get passion. You do not... Passion does not drive you. Passion is what fuels you after you have already done the effort to put into what you're doing. Make sense? You're going to have more passion for a project, passion project. You're going to have more passion for a project after you have already put in your heart and soul and you're, it's going to build and build and build and build and get more and more and more. And same thing will happen if you take a step back. If you do less and less and less, your passion is going to go down. It's kind of... That's how things work. You get out what you put in and you, what you get out is what you put in. So if you put in a ton of goodness, you're gonna get out a ton of goodness eventually. That's just inevitable. That's how the world works. Like there's no way to have it be opposite unless you're, I don't know, a robot. But we're not robots, we're humans. Congratulations. Um, but yeah, there is how I believe you can be successful. And if you are new to this, make sure to go back and watch this video. But are you all excited for the announcement? Dun, dun, dun. Teachers training is live on the website coming June 28th. So June 28th, the online course of teachers training, mostly geared toward lash artists, but it can go toward anyone, honestly, um, can be taken and I'm so excited a ton of people ask me all the time how to become a trainer how to become their own have their own trainings in any fields not just the lash artist and beauty field and so I finally made this training for you guys to take and it is super easy but is hardcore to a T it's gonna take a lot of work on your part and it's gonna take a lot of things but this is the first true way of how to organize it, make sure all your ducks are in a row, be organized, be successful, be driven, everything that you ever need. I promise it's in that course and it is so amazing and I can't wait to share it with you all. We may be having a live cast of me going through the training with you on the 29th or 28th that weekend. Um, if you're open to that, make sure to DM me. I'll have you buy the course and then we'll all take the course together. So then I'm going through it with you guys as well as you doing it on your own. And that way we can ask questions, have time together. And with your teacher's training online course, when you buy it, you also get a free coaching, coaching call with me because your success is my success. And I won't be successful if you're not successful because that is what I, my definition of success is, is your success. So let's make you successful, right? Let's schedule a call. Go to asiakbeauty.podia.com. I think that's my online courses or asiakonline.com and get your teacher's training course. It is gonna go officially live on the 28th. I can't wait to see you all there. Love you. See you soon.